L E C E T T U T D K P H P The task is called the NBAC test because N can be any number. And the higher the number, the more demanding and difficult the test becomes because the memory load increases. If you practice this NBAC test, starting, say, with, with one letter back, and then practice with two letters back, and then with three letters back, and so on, how many letters back do you think you could master? Do you think you'd be smarter in the sense of having more G after you mastered four or five, five letters back, assuming that you could? That was the first test. Here's the second version of the task. This is a visual spatial version. You will see a box somewhere on the screen. The box will be in a different spot on each trial. You press the button when the box appears in the same spot, but two trials back. Now this is pretty hard, and here's a demonstration. Again, we'll show the series across the top so you can see how this works. That was pretty tough, but again, you get better with practice. But these researchers were not satisfied with training people to do both versions. They also trained people to do both versions simultaneously. This is called the dual and back test, and here's what it looks like. L E C E T T U T D K P H P you see that this is really very difficult. I mean, very difficult. But with training over several days and weeks, people improved from doing two back versions to doing three, four, and even five back versions in some cases. The more days of training, the better they did on the dual and back task.